What are you doing here, man? I thought I told you not to come around here anymore. Boy, are you looking for trouble? Now, why'd you come around here for after we told you not to? I, I'm going. The bag! They're my mine. What did you do, steal them? I didn't steal nothing. I found them. Well, you found them. Hey, hey, get him, hey, 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 didn't you hear the man? Didn't you hear what he said? Listen, shithead! You put him back and fast! If something's bad gonna happen to you, something real bad. Let him go. Donnie's gonna put everything back. Aren't you, boy? Do what he told you. You don't want to find you around here again. Understand? The man's talking to you, Donnie. Don't you answer? When I talk to you, you listen. Now say I'm sorry, Nails. I'm sorry, Nails. I'm sorry, Vic. I'm sorry, Vic. I'm sorry, Dean. I'm sorry, Dean. I don't think Donnie's sorry. Did he say he was sorry? You don't think shitheads learned his lesson? Let's give Donnie a bath. I don't think Donnie <laughs> takes baths, do you, creep? Well, he's gonna get one now. We're gonna play dog, Donnie. You remember how we play dog? <laughs> You're gonna be a good woof woof, aren't you, Donnie? <laughs> Who's got the dog chain? I don't have it, Nails. You got it, Dean? <laughs> I don't have it, Vic. You got it, Nails? I don't have it, Dean. <laughs> Donnie? Oh. Donnie, you wearing your belt today? Donnie, you know what a shark is? You wanna see my shark? <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna put your collar on and you're gonna woof woof like a nice doggy. Get him! Come on, Donnie! Come on, Donnie! Get up, Donnie! Now listen, you son of a bitch! You do as I tell you or I'll fucking break your goddamn neck! Now bark! Fuck.
Miss Martins? Donnie, come up here, will you? I have something for you. Yes, Miss Martins. I'll bet you are hungry. You didn't have any lunch, did you? No, ma'am. I tried to find you, Donnie, but you weren't around anywhere. That's not like you, Donnie. I got lost. What is it, Donnie? Is something wrong? How did you get that bruise on your lip? I fell on a rock. They... They, Donnie, did they beat you up again? I told you to stay away from that gully. You must learn to stay close to the house. Why don't you listen to me? I like it there. I like sitting there. I can't stay away. Most of the time, no one bothers me. I... I like it. Oh, all right. But you must learn to be more careful when you're down there. Eat now before it gets cold. Oh, don't eat with your fingers, Donnie. Use a spoon. This. And Cynthia. Yes, what is it? Where did you put my white stockings? I can't find them. I put them on the top shelf of the closet. That's my best friend's daughter, Lisa. She's staying with me a while. She's from Colorado. Do you know where Colorado is? Colorado? Yes. Do you know where it is? No. Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was here. Lisa, this is Donnie. Donnie, this is Lisa. I told you about Donnie. He lives down in the shed. Oh, yes. Good to meet you. I, you know, I can't find those stockings anywhere. You sure you put them on the closet shelf? I thought I did. I'll go look. <laughs> Want some? What's the matter? Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. She won't even know what happened. I thought they were on the shelf, but I might have put them in the drawer instead. Oh, okay. I thought I'd take a bath. Oh, well, you might have to fill the tub only half. I've been using the hot water, and it takes it a while to get real hot again. All right. Oh, I packed in such a rush. Do you think Donnie could get some things for the drugstore? I'd appreciate it. I don't think so. He's only used to doing routine things for me. I'll go. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to put you in any trouble. No trouble at all. I have to get some things for myself, and I may as well pick up yours at the same time. Donnie, as soon as you're through eating, would you go out to the back and bring in the wood to the cellar? That's a good boy. What a strange boy. Oh, Donnie's all right. That's not quite all there. How long has he lived here? About two years. <laughs> Doesn't he have any relatives? Well, only his mother, and she lives out on the east edge of town. Why doesn't she take care of him? Oh, well, she threw him out. She drinks quite a bit. She just hates the boy. That's terrible. Oh, not really. He doesn't know any better. He's happy the way he is, or at least he seems so. Why is he so frightened of everything? Oh, what happened? Well, I offered him a glass of water earlier and he acted scared to death of me. Be careful the way you move with Donnie. He becomes frightened of any sudden movement. And never, never raise your voice to him or he may become violent. You mean he's dangerous? No, just different. Would you like to borrow some of my bubble bath? That's a fun idea. I haven't had a bubble bath since I was 10. Well, you'll find it on the top shelf of the medicine cabinet. It's lilies all over the field. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Now, what is it you want from the drugstore? Oh, I have it all written down right here on... Don't worry about Donnie. When he's through eating, he'll go back downstairs and the door will shut behind him automatically.
My name's Jennifer. What's yours? What are you afraid of? I'm Jennifer. Jennifer? But I don't like Jennifer. I, I think Jenny's much nicer. Jenny? Can I help you? I'm very good at finding things. Oh, look! Look what I found! Look! Isn't it pretty? It is pretty, isn't it? I'll bet it's from Africa or South America or someplace like that. Where do you think it's from? I don't know. Maybe Colorado. Colorado? Have you ever been to Colorado? Nope. But I'm going to go there someday. Why do you want to go to Colorado? She's very beautiful in Colorado. Who's very beautiful? Colorado's beautiful. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Do you want it? You can have it if you want it. For me? You don't have to give me anything. But I want you to have it. I have nothing else to give you. Why did you say that? It's not true. Just being with someone is giving. Don't you know that? I don't know what you mean. Just talking right now is giving yourself. You're nice. You think so? No one ever talked with me before. You must talk with lots of people. Yes, but no one ever talked with me. I know what you mean. You do? It's very nice. Thank you very much. It's very cool. Here, feel. It is. Jennifer, get back to the gate. We're leaving. I've got to go. If I don't...
for a while. Where have you been? Don't come in anymore. I'm sorry about last time. You want something? Two Cokes, please. You want anything else? I have 60 cents more. Potato chips? A bag of potato chips? No. Coke's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. The Cokes! I can't afford the turnovers. Oh, it's okay, they're yesterday. Yesterday's? Yeah, but we don't have to throw them out. They're apple. Huh? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. It's apple. You like apple? I like apple. It's one of my favorites. It's one of her favorites. So how are things at home? Fine. Hey, I'm sorry about last night. It's all right. Now I'll give you some water. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you. Till I get in at 7.30 tonight, isn't it? You know I do. Now get off the phone. Now, I want you to give these to Mrs. Cummings. No one else, only her. Now, who did I say to give them to? To Mrs. Donnie. Mrs. Cummings. That's right. Now you know how to get to the Outreach Chapel, don't you? I think so. You take the 101 bus and get off at Western Avenue. The 101 bus. And get off at Western Avenue. And get off at Western Avenue. That's right. Now, this is for you. I made a nice lunch to take with you. I know how you like to sit down there in the gully, but please be careful. Don't sit out in the open, stay by yourself. You know how you have a habit of spending out trouble. I don't want that to happen. You understand? Go ahead then. Go out the back way, Donnie. It's closer. Are you all right? Oh, my. That's good. I'll help you. Oh. Now, do be more careful. Oh, what am I going to do with you? Fix your hair. 
there. Now you look so handsome. Now let's get started. The Reverend and his wife are waiting for you. And don't get lost, whatever you do. And come back no later than three o'clock. Understand? Donnie? And just for me, huh? No? Oh, yes it is, Donnie. Donnie. Yeah, your mama put you to bed without supper, huh? <laughs> Assholes don't got a mother. <laughs> hey, let's go, man. It's okay. Here, let me. Where are you going? I have to go see Outreach Chapel. 101 bus. I'll walk you over there. It's just a couple blocks away. Miss Martins, that these will be put to very good use. Can you remember that? I'll tell her. <laughs> good. Is this your friend? Aren't you going to introduce me? This is... This My is... name's Jenny. I'm helping Donnie. That's very nice, dear. Do you live near here? No. I live on the other side of town. Have you known Donnie very long? I know all about Donnie. I see. Donnie, would you take this box down to my wife? She's right next door in our little place. Right through there and through that door. Thank you, Donnie. I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? Jenny. Jenny, for Jennifer? Yes. Jennifer's such a nice name. I have a first cousin, Jennifer, back home in Boston. Jenny, 
Do you think it's a good idea to run around with Donnie? He's, he's not the same as... Donnie's different. Yes. I like Donnie. And he needs someone. Yes, dear. We all need friends. Why don't we go inside here where we can talk more privately? I don't think Miss Martins would approve. Who's Miss Martins? Miss Martins looks after Donnie. She's sort of his mother. Doesn't he have a mother? You really don't know very much about Donnie, do you? I know all I need to know. I know he needs friends. Now that's very admirable. But Donnie will never be an ordinary friend. I know that. Sit here, Jenny. How old are you, Jenny? Eighteen. Do you live with your parents? They're both dead. Oh, I'm sorry. But God must have meant for it to be that way. Who do you live with? My mother's sister. You mean your aunt? My mother's sister. You don't like her, do you? She doesn't like me. Why do you suppose that is? I've been a lot of bother to her. In what way? My mother and father died in an automobile accident when I was very young. I was lucky. I was asleep in the back seat. They were killed instantly. The doctor said that my spine was permanently injured and I would never walk again, but I worked very hard and now I'm able to walk. I know. And you walk very well. My mother didn't have any other relatives except her sister. I think she hates me because she had to pay all the bills and take care of me for so long. Oh, she doesn't hate you, Ginny. Maybe so. Can I go now? Did I say something wrong? No. Well, sit down, Jenny. I want to talk to you about Donnie. What's there to talk about? Well, uh, uh, Donnie's not just a normal boy. I know that. He may hurt you in some way. Donnie wouldn't hurt me. There are many different ways of getting hurt, Jenny. Did, did your mother's sister ever talk to you about sexual relations with a boy? No. I know all about it. Has Donnie ever tried anything with you? No. And he wouldn't unless I wanted him to. And? And will you want him to? That's none of your business. But it is my business to keep two friends from hurting each other. No, it's not! Donnie and I understand each other. I was told that people like you are understanding and helpful, but I don't think you are. I have a feeling you like to talk about these things. You don't understand. Donnie and I have each other, and that's all we have. And all you have is him up there. I don't think you're very nice. Jenny, Jenny, I won't be warning you, and I'm doing this for your own good. Be careful of Donnie. You be careful of him. What's the matter? Jenny! What'd you say to her? Nothing, Donnie. Donnie, Donnie. you heard her. No. It, it, Donnie! Stop it, Donnie! Stop! Donnie! 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 Me too. I wish we had some more Donnie, but that's all there is. Do you want some more orange juice? Orange juice? It's water, but I pretend it's orange juice. <laughs> that's good orange juice. Did you ever have fresh squeezed orange juice? No, did you? I stole some ones from the refrigerator where I live. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever steal anything? <laughs> Come on, tell me what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I took something that fits here. You mean a garter? Whose? Lisa's. Lisa? Who's she? Miss Martins. I mean, her, her friends. 
I don't know. Did you like Lisa? She's pretty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Donnie. I'm sorry. Donnie! Please sit down next to me. I want you, Donnie. I want to belong to you. But not just yet. I'm sorry. When I was 14, there was a boy. His name was Bobby. He always used to make fun of me because I couldn't walk very well. He had a lot of pimples on his face. One day, coming home from school, he grabbed my books and started to run away. I ran after him, but he would only let me get close and then run off again. There was no one else around. I had to stay after school to clean the blackboard. I always had to. No one else had to. Bobby was coming from the football practice. Anyway, he dragged me into a vacant lot. He had his hand over my mouth. I tried to kick, but my brace got in the way. He threw me down, and he grabbed my hair, and he banged my head on the ground over and over again. When I woke up, my dress was all torn, and I was bloody all over here. When I finally got home, my mother's sister beat on me and blamed me for everything that happened. Bobby didn't call me names after that, but he would whisper to the other boys and they would giggle at me in the halls. I never went back to school again after that. I don't need school. I don't need anything. Who's Miss Martins? She lets me stay there. She lets me stay in her shed. Where's your mother? She's dead. No, she's not. Don't you like her? She doesn't like me. Why do you say that? I don't know. She used to hit me all the time. You know, she used to lock me in the bathroom. But once I got away. <laughs> Does Miss Martins ever lock you in the bathroom? She lets me stay in her shed. I know, you told me. Why do you stay with her instead of your mother? Miss Martins is good friends with my mama. She's all alone, so she asked my mama if I could stay with her. My mama doesn't care. I think she was glad. <laughs> it's nice of Miss Martins. She don't ever lock me up. <laughs> I 
I like Miss Martins. She gives me lots of food. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Cummings doesn't want me to see you. Fuck Reverend Cummings! Don't ever say that word again! I didn't! I didn't mean to! I didn't! Don't, Donnie! Don't! Listen to me! I didn't mean to hurt you! But you shouldn't use that word! It's a terrible word! But they... they use it all the time. Who? I like you. going now. It's getting late. I'll see you tomorrow. an hour. Boots, let's go! Say I don't want to! Stop the act, Boots. I ain't got the time. <laughs> come on, come on. Wait, come on. Come on, over here. Come on, come on, bitch. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Well, didn't she come? What do you think? Oh. Come on, let's go for Christ's sake. Wait for me, where are you going? I got a deal going down, we're late now. I'll pick you up in half an hour. Wait for me! Fuck you! You wait, you hear? I'm not going to bite you. What were you doing over there? You were playing with yourself, weren't you? Do you see what we were doing? Come closer, Donnie. I'm not going to hurt you. You liked that, didn't you? Nice, huh? Give me your hand. Come on! Put your hand here. Feels good, don't it? <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch! What are you doing here? I had a 
fight with her. I just couldn't stay there. Can I stay with you for a while? Please? I can't, Miss Martins. No, I can't. Don't make me go. Please, Donnie. Just let me stay for a while. We must be quiet. Let me do it. Don't look at me. I can't stand when you look at me. You want some water? It's good. Thank you. It's very good. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I shouldn't have hit you. Oh, I've forgotten. No, you haven't. It's true, I haven't. Can you forgive me? Don't look at me like that. I'm sorry. Don't ever be sorry to me. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just being together is enough. Yeah, I know. How old are you? I don't know. You don't know how old you are? 22. I'm 22. Why didn't you say so before? I don't know. I like you, Donnie. I like you, too. What's the matter? Did I say something? You shouldn't do that. I'm sorry. I said don't be sorry. A long time ago I told myself never to cry again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I cry sometimes. Well, you shouldn't. Yeah, I know. So we won't, okay? Okay.
Now we can. Move. What's the matter? She shouldn't find you here. As soon as I go upstairs, you leave. But I don't want to see her. I don't want to. Why do I have to see her? Now, don't argue with me. She asked to see you, and you have to go. I don't know why she can't leave you alone. No, it's not my place. She wants to see you right away. You better hurry. Here's your bus money. And make sure you go there. And don't pretend like last time, because we'll have hell to pay. Donnie, try to be nice to your mother. <laughs> over there. Not that one, stupid. The one next to it. That's the one. Give it to me. How do you like to go away, darling? How do you like to take a nice long trip? Maybe up to Canada. It'll be nice this time of year. I don't want to go away. It'll do you good. The trip will be good for you. I don't want to go away. Sit down, Donnie. I want to talk to you. Sit down. I'm not going to hurt you. You ain't been much help to me. You know that, don't you? I'm sorry. Well, being sorry ain't going to help. If you could just do something instead of sitting there like a vegetable. You are like a great big head of cabbage. Can I go now? You sit there till I'm through with you. I never see much of you these days. And I got a lot to talk to you about. So you sit there till I'm through. Miss Martin's treating you all right? She's very nice. And I'm not, I suppose. I didn't say that. Yeah, but you meant it, didn't you? I never told you about your father, did I? My father? Yes, everybody's got one, you know. And you were something special. 
Aren't you going to ask me why? Why? Your father was no ordinary father. Donnie, do you remember my brother, Eddie? Do you remember Eddie? Eddie. You do remember, don't you? Well, I don't see much of him anymore. I guess it's better that way. He up and left after you were born. Probably better he did. If he'd have stayed around, he'd have killed you by now, you stupid head of cabbage. <laughs> Can I go now? You sit there lump through with you. Hey, I got plans for you. Big plans. So, back to Eddie. You know, Donnie, I love Eddie very much. At least I used to. I used to have such good times. We'd get drunk and come back here and... I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You don't understand half of what I say. Why did Eddie go away? I told him to. Eddie used to hit me. Why shouldn't he? He's your father. Eddie's not my father. Oh, yes, he is. Eddie's not my father. That's why you're such a dummy. Would have been a good name for you. Yeah, dummy would have been a good name for you. Or cabbage head. I want to go now. You're not going anywhere. Miss Martins, she needs me. Yeah, I'm kind of lucky her taking you off my hands like that. You never were much good to me, you know. Miss Martins ever try anything on you? You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Twisted. She couldn't accept that people do it. You like Miss Martins? You ain't never gonna see her again. Because, Donnie, you're taking a long trip down to Mississippi. Mississippi? It's a long way from here. I don't want to go to Mississippi. I'm going now. You ain't going nowhere to sit! Price, please. Mr. Price. Yeah, he's here now. I told you if you waited, he'd be here. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I can keep him, so you better. Yeah, yeah, I know I signed the papers, but you're not getting him till I get my fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. Why an ambulance? Oh, like a patient. Yeah, because he might... Yeah, you better bring a jacket. Now, you just get moving. Well, finish your whiskey and get over here. Bye. You're going to like it in Mississippi, darling. It's going to be peaceful down there. Get up in the morning, do your job, Go to bed at night. Every day is the same. No problems. Won't that be nice, Donnie? No. Well, you ain't got no say in it. All your life you've been a problem to me. But now I'm going to get $1,500 for sending you to Mississippi. She won't belong to me no more. Belong to Mr. Cecil Price. You just do what he tells you and everything will be fine. No! You sit down! No, it's back here! Now listen to that! He's gonna be here any minute! Stop that! You dumb cat! Stay ah. home! You are never coming back! Ah. Oh, get out of my sight! Stop it! Stupid! Ah. Stupid! Ah.
Miss Raymond? Miss Raymond? Miss Raymond, you in there? It's a surprise. Miss Raymond, I haven't gone all night. Open this here door. <laughs> Not bad. Miss <sighs> Raymond, are you? Miss Raymond? your mom. Uh, she... You did. must be Donnie. Oh, Miss Raymond told me all about you. She what, boy? Where's your mom? What's your mom doing on the floor? She pass out. I thought I had a drinking problem. <laughs> Miss Raymond? Miss Raymond? Where'd you go, boy?
Just stay where you are, son. You won't be hurt. You've been real busy, haven't you, son? My, my, my. You know, I think you saved me some money. I sure do appreciate that. Now, son, Donnie is next. What you got in that sack? Bet I know what's in the sack. You took something from your mama, didn't you? Hmm? Are you gonna let me see what's in the sack? No! Now son, Donnie, you need friends right now. Come on, let old Cecil have the sack. Well, 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 what are we going to do about this? We don't want anybody to know, do we? Suppose, just suppose, your ma was to disappear. You saved me $1,500, I saved your skin. What'd he say, son? Atta boy! See that shovel? You're gonna hand me that shovel, and we're gonna bury your ma. Now hand it to me, son. so upset. Is anything the matter? Oh, I see. You're going to be with Jenny, aren't you? Well, there is something I want to tell you. Now, I know it's going to upset you, but it's for your own good and Jenny's too. Do you know what I mean? Jenny's good? Yes. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I want you to answer me truthfully. Have you ever tried anything with Jenny? You you know what I mean. I I oh, uh, yes what? I uh, I kissed her. Did you ever do anything more than that? I don't have to talk to you. You come back here, Johnny, and answer my question. Do you do anything dirty with Jenny? 
Jenny and I are going to go away from here. We don't have to stay here. You can't make us stay. I'm not asking you to stay anywhere. What's gotten into you today? Jenny and I are going to run away. Where will you go? We'll go to Colorado. Does Miss Martins know? She doesn't have to know. Well, suppose I tell her. What would you do then? I don't want you to tell Miss Martins. Well, we can't have that. How would you get along? How would you make a living? Do you have any money saved up? We don't need any money. We'll walk to Colorado. Jenny can't walk that fast. I think it would be a good idea to call Miss Martins. I don't want you to call her. I don't care what you want. I'm doing what's best for you and Jenny. I'm going to call Miss Martins put right now. Put it down. No. I said put it down. No. Something would happen. This is Jenny's blood, isn't it? You defiled the sweet innocent creature. Oh my God, Alice. see daylight again. Move again, and I'll send you to burn in hell by the blood of Jesus before nightfall. Operator, my wife, my wife's been killed. Yes, I'm holding the murderer. Extremely dangerous. Yes, yes, I'll hold, but hurry, hurry. And that little Jimmy of yours, with her sin of pride, you'll never see her again as long as you live. Operator, Yes. 2450 Avery. Yes, Avery. Ah! 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 You gotta go. Donnie, what's wrong? You shouldn't be here. Go away. Don't make me go. I want to stay with you. <sighs> you can't get rid of me by hurting me. I want to stay with you. I'm not going to leave you anymore. Don't touch me. You gotta go away. Mrs. Cummings was right. She said... What did she tell you? Don't listen to her or Reverend Cummings. They don't want us to love each other. Mrs. Cummings was right. You gotta keep away from me. I'm gonna go away. You, you can't go without me, Donnie. Take me with you. I gotta go by myself. Did I do something wrong? Did I hurt you in any way? No. You never hurt anyone. Nobody ever talked to me before. Every day I wanted so much for someone to talk to me. No one ever did. People can't be bothered with me. There's no place for me. I'm gonna go away so people don't have to look at me. You don't want me. But I... Shh. I'm no good to anyone. I can't even use these. I'm gonna go away. I can be by myself. It's easy. 
And no one has to feed me. I don't want you to go without me. I'll come back for you someday. You wait for me. I should have known better. Here I go out of my way to be nice to you. And this is how you repay me. I didn't. I... It's not his fault. It's mine. Donnie, I'm going back upstairs now. Then I want you to come up and explain things to me. I would advise you, you little slut, to get out of here right now and never come back. <gasps> no! Donnie, it's my fault. I never should have come here. And I have no place to go. You go and wait. Go to our place and wait. Go, go! Come in, Donnie. Sit in that chair. I've been thinking it over, Donnie, and I've decided it would be better for us both if you went back to your mother. But I... Sit down and let me finish. You've been a great help to me, Donnie, and I appreciate it. There are many times when I don't know what I would have done without you. But I've taken a lot of ridicule from people having you here. I suppose I shouldn't have done it. But your mother and I were so close at one time. I might as well be honest with you. It's time for the truth, I suppose. Your mother is my sister. You didn't know that, did you? No, how could you? That was part of our deal. She wasn't to tell you in exchange for me taking care of you. There. I said it. After all this time, I said it. I didn't mean to hurt you. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. But I've made up my mind, and I've got to stick to it. I trusted you, Donnie. That was my mistake. But I want you out of here by this afternoon. Do you understand? How could you let yourself carry on with a little whore like that? She's a filthy, no good little slut. Jenny's good. You don't know. She's good. Good? What's good about her? She comes into our place and makes you do nasty things to her, and you let her. I'm leaving. You can't face the truth, can you? Don't touch me. No, no but it's all right when she touches you, isn't it? You like it when that little slut touches you. How dare you! Take your hands off it! How dare you! Take your hands off me! We'll wait till dark, then we gotta run away. What's wrong? You gotta stop this. Tell me what's the matter. You like me? Yes. You won't like me if I tell you. Tell me what? Tell me. I don't want to hurt anyone. I never want to hurt Donnie, anyone. She shouldn't do you trust so me? Donnie, then tell me. Tell me what you're trying to say. <laughs> Donnie! Donnie! Donnie, I love you! I didn't mean to love you, but I do. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, don't look at me. You can't look at me. You can't love me. I can't let you love me. I gotta go away. If I don't go away, I'll hurt someone. I don't want to hurt anybody. I can't help it when I hurt someone. She shouldn't have said, I hurt Miss Martin. Donnie! And Mrs. Cummings. And what do you mean? My... You hurt Miss Martin. They're dead! No, it can't be. I don't believe you! You're just trying to scare me, aren't you? Donnie! Look at me! Donnie, look at me! It's true, isn't it? Oh, Donnie.
funny. <laughs> I thought they were my mama. They shouldn't have told me not to see you. You're so good. <laughs> and those others, they shouldn't have. Mama was gonna send me away. She was gonna send me to Mississippi. I'd never see you again. But she can't send me now, can she? <laughs> <laughs> your mother. You killed your mother. Donnie, what are we going to do? You stay here. I'm going to go away. Someday, maybe. I can come back for you. Him. I still don't believe it was him. Hey, wait a damn minute. He's got a hell of a nerve even looking at Boots. Yeah, him even thinking of trying something that's sick. Yeah, I bet I know where he is. But he's there right now. Down by the gully next to the stream. All he knows. Son of a bitch. We should have drowned him years ago. What the hell are you waiting for? Take care of it. Go get fixed. No, no, go, go I now. I won't let you, Donnie. Go, go on now. I won't let you, Donnie. I told you to go. Wait! Wait for me!
Too much blood by now. He's got no hair. Uh, what are they oh, Yeah, look at him. Whoa. Anyway, we got to kill him. You said he was dead, miss. Where's the body? 